Hello people, we are from Breaking Code. Now today what we have to do is learn an algorithm to reverse a number. Like what is reversing a number? Suppose we are number 123. After reversing the number, the number will become 321. We have to reverse the digits of a number. Now in this uh, thing what we have to do is take one numbers from units place, store it in a new variable. 3 after the, uh, we, are, uh, we are done with taking this 3 then we have to eliminate this number 3 then uh, we have to do, what we have to do is multiply this number 3 by 10 so we get 30 and then add the next uh, next digit that is 2 so now the number is 32 as now we are done with 2 therefore we have to just remove this 2 and then uh, focus on this 1 then again multiply this number by 10 and then add the next digit that is 1 so now number becomes 321 which is our desired value so this is the logic of how to reverse a number what we have to do is just keep taking a one, a one digit from the units place and uh, keep multiplying it by 10 and keep adding the next digit so now the thing is how, uh, how do we write this algorithm like how to write an algorithm to reverse a number so the algorithm goes like this while if we store the number like 123 in a variable called as n so while n is greater than 0 suppose this is a new variable called as reverse and uh, we have to store uh, our reverse uh, new number in this reverse thing so reverse uh, initialize this reverse by 0 so as we keep on going in each and every loop we have to take this reverse multiply it by 10 and then add the new digit which we get now how to take the new digit to take the new digit uh, like the uh, digit from the units place we, uh, we use modulus operator like if the number is 123 if we use a modulus operator like if we, uh, if we use mod 10 it gives us the remainder like in this case it's 3 so we get the units digit in this case so what we have to do is n mod 10 and then each and every case like uh, if we get this units place then after this uh, and then we have to divide this number 123 by 10 as this is an integer by integer division so the answer will be 12 so we have eliminated this number 3 because it's uh, already taken in the units place like we have already stored the number in reverse so now the number will only become uh, 12 so in each and every loop what we have to do is divide the number n is equal to n by 10 so this is the logic for reversing the number what we have to do suppose uh, if we take the same example 123 according to the, our logic 123 is greater than 0 so what we have to do is reverse uh, is equal to reverse into trend, uh, 10 currently our reverse is 0 so it won't affect anything n mod 10 is 3 so now our value in reverse is 3 and then we divide this n by 10 so 123 becomes 12 now what we have to do is uh, as we go we have to take another like we, we multiply this number by uh, 10 currently uh, reverse contains 3 so we will multiply this reverse by 10 so 3 into 10 which gives us 30 and then again take another digit so now our number becomes 32 so uh, as, now, uh, as we have done with this 32 then again uh, divide this number 12 uh, by 10 so now only 1 remains as 1 is greater than 0 so after 32 we again multiply it by 10 and then add this number that is 1 so now a number becomes 321 so which is the final value what we have to do so this algorithm works quite, uh, quite fine and this is the uh, what we have to do to reverse a number now after reversing a number like you might be thinking that why should we reverse a number where do we need it now let's take an example from codesef.com the link of the problem is in the description now let's take an example from codesef.com the link of the problem is in the description the name of the problem is the next palindrome now let me tell you some of you guys might be knowing what is a palindrome now palindrome is a number like if we take 834 this is not uh, the reverse of the number is 438 so this is not a palindrome so what palindrome is if we take a number 818 the reverse of the number is again 818 
which both the uh, numbers are equal to each other. So this is called as palindrome. Now this is palindrome in numbers. If we take palindrome in words, it will be like a word called as madam, m a d a m. If we spell the word from right or left, uh, le right or left hand side, it remains the same because it's m a d a m, m a d a m. So it doesn't matter from where we spell the word; it remains the same. So in numbers, we have to check whether the number is palindrome or not. So in this case, uh, what the code chef has given us, we have to find the next palindrome. Now, what is next uh, palindrome? So, in this case, uh, our input will be a n. Suppose we will be given an input eight hundred and ten. Now, we what we have to do is find the next palindrome, like which is the next palindrome to this number. So, next palindrome to this number is eight one eight. So, we have to find this number, which is a palindrome, and just next to this number. So in this case we have to use that logic which we cracked for reversing a number. So what we have to do is just use a loop while flag equal to equal to zero. It means like we haven't find the palindrome yet. So we'll keep finding it. Now what we have to do is take one integer variable just like reverse. Now what we have to store in it, we have to write a function reverse and pass our original number into it. As we have uh, written the function reverse, it will reverse the number and store it in this. Now we have to compare whether this reverse is equal to our original number n. Now if reverse is equal to equal to n, then flag is equal to one. So after we get the reverse is equal to equal to n, that means we have found the number which is a palindrome. Then the flag becomes one, and then we break out from the loop. And at the end, we have to just print like n value for where it is found, like. In this example, the n is equal to eight hundred and ten. So as uh, as flag is equal to zero by default, then eight hundred and ten. The reverse of eight hundred and ten is zero one eight, which is not equal to eight hundred and ten. So our uh, flag won't become one, and the loop will continue. As we get the number eight hundred and eighteen, uh, we get the reverse also as eight hundred and eighteen, and our original number is eight hundred and eighteen. So as we compare both the numbers. Both the numbers are equal, so our flag becomes one. So we break out from the loop, and then we print the n. And uh, of course, uh, in each and every case, you have to increase the value of n, n plus plus, which is an obvious thing. Uh, so in this case, uh, we are just printing eight hundred and eighteen, which is the value. So this was a, a problem from Code Chef, uh, which is a great website. You can keep uh, finding more problems like this on this website. So this was today's problem, and uh, to explain you the logic of how to reverse a number and solve this problem, the next palindrome. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something from it. We guys will be making more videos for you. If you want something like what we have to explain to you, if you want some uh, logic for some of the problems, then you can comment the name of the problem in the comment section. We will solve it for you and upload the video as soon as possible. Keep watching uh, our channel. Please subscribe to it. Please like it. we'll be making more videos just thank you peace love goodbye